So what's up? Uh, this is Chris. I haven't made a video in a while, but I wanted to share just a quick story about something that happened this past weekend. So if you have a second, watch this. I'm about to thank a lot of people. So this past Saturday, I was flying an event for the city of Pascagoula. Uh, I was flying my drone and just through like a freak accident, uh, hit the pillover bridge. My drone crashed into the Pascagoula River uh, with a really strong current and it was in the river for over four hours. So the reason I'm making this video is I had a lot of people come to my help. I had a lot of friends uh, answer phone calls. Um, I had people uh, lend me equipment and tools. I had uh, a friend come out with his kayak. So this video is really just a thank you video for those who went out of their way to help me this past Saturday. Uh, I may do another detailed video about kind of how the crash happened and, and everything that went on, but this video really is just to thank the people who, who helped me and that came to my rescue, literally came to my rescue. First few people I wanna thank are those who answered phone calls, who, who made a bunch of phone calls to help me out, who checked in like every 30 minutes to an hour. And those people are Jim Rowe. Jim Rowe, you're awesome. Uh, you called a bunch of different people uh, to see if you could get scuba divers out to help me. So Jim Rowe, Jeremy Duckworth is an awesome guy. Jeremy, thank you so much uh, for helping me out, man. You were checking in constantly. You were trying to find divers as well. Um, Justin Ely, I appreciate you, man. You've been willing to come out. I called him. He was he was getting ready to stop work and uh, come help me. He was going to come dive either that day or the next day. So I appreciate him being willing. And plus Adam Santala, super nice guy, guy I work with. Uh, just super awesome, man. I appreciate you. Um, even just answering the phone call and just thinking of people to try to call and help uh, really went above and beyond uh, those four guys. The, so the people I want to thank now are the people who came out in person or who actually helped me physically get my drone back. Um, it's, it, it is a big deal because I use this as part of my livelihood. I use this as my, my side hustles, my side business. I use my drone for a lot of gigs, a lot of events. Um, so it was really, really important. So first, I want to thank Blake Kelly. Blake is the man, answered answered my phone call, was like FBI on Facebook, man. He was tagging everybody left and right. Not only was he helping me, he gave me instructions and uh, tips on how to, how to fix my drone once I got it out of the salt water. And to go a step further, <clears throat> he found me a scuba diver uh, who came out. I'm gonna get to that later, but he found me a scuba diver and he also let me borrow his fishing magnet. I went and picked it up. So Blake, thank you so much for being a good friend, man, and for helping me get my drone back. Uh, you just, man, you went above and beyond, man. You're just a really good friend. I, I appreciate it. Even though we haven't seen each other in a while, he was like actively on Facebook, like, what can I do to help Chris get his drone back? So huge thank you. Next person, Neil Gilly. Neil Gilly is one of my closest friends. And <clears throat> what Neil did was amazing. So I called him, I was like, hey dude, uh, my drone flew in the river. Do you have any fishing gear? Something we can try and get it out with. So what he did is he brought his kayak, um, his really nice kayak, and we paddled out in the river to try to find um, my drone with a, this fishing line and this fishing magnet. And uh, Neil just always comes to my rescue, man. He's just a really good friend. Um, there's a lot of people who always help me out too, but Neil really, really, was just a, a massive help uh, this past Saturday. And uh, and even Katie got in the kayak too. Um, and that's the next person I wanna thank is Katie, my amazing wife. Uh, she got in the kayak to help. I got called into work. I couldn't search for the drone, uh, but she got in the kayak and was with Neil and was trying to find the drone and helping out. And Katie was making phone calls and uh, just awesome wife. I'm so lucky to have her. Um, there were so many people and, and little working, moving pieces that went together and helping me get this important uh, piece of equipment back for me. So Katie, I love you. You know, I totally married up way out of my league, but I love you. I thank you so much for the help uh, that you did in staying afterwards and bringing the kids. Um, next is Chris Wilkerson, my new neighbor. This dude is legit. He calls me and he's like, hey, um, heard your drone went in the water. I'm like an experienced snorkeler. I'm bringing my stuff. I'm going to swim to the bottom of the river and get your drone for you. I'm like, like, bro, the Gula River is nasty. Um, <laughs> but he, he he brought his stuff. He was getting getting ready to 
uh, get in the water. He, you know, he was calling me. He was like, man, how can I help you? So he came out to the spot and was getting ready to dive to the bottom of the Gula River, about 20 feet deep, to try to find my drone. Uh, he ended up not uh, being able to or not having to uh, do that. But still, man, he came out. He brought his kids. He was there, ready to jump in the water and help. So, Chris, I love you, man. I appreciate you. You've helped me out. You helped me hang my new TV at my new house. You helped me bring in furniture, all kinds of stuff. So, dude, owe you dinner and, like, who knows, all kinds of stuff. So I appreciate that. So, so far, the four people, I got Blake Kelly, I got Neil Gilly, Chris Wilkerson, Katie Stafford, my wife, and probably the person I need to thank most, and it's not, uh, it's like, Neil Gilly comes in a close second because he gave up a lot of his time um, and came out and was in the heat and, you know, got wet and was just physically exhausting. But really, man, the hero of this story and who I'm really making this video for is a guy named Mark Miller. I'm going to put his picture up here. Mark is... I got his name and number from Blake Kelly, and Mark came out super quick, met us at the river. Um, he got his gear on, went out, got in the water, and went to the bottom the first time, and about 15 seconds later, came up, and my wife said that, you know, there were bubbles everywhere, and, and she thought that maybe he just couldn't, uh, you know, find the drone, maybe it was just too muddy. He came up with the drone in hand and was like, I got it first time and this guy came all the way from the end of Gaucher to Pascagoula to help me a person I've never met um who is a diver he's a photographer he makes videos um and man and so when I went over to him I gave him a hug I was like dude I need to give you a hug because you just saved my drone and he's like no nah, man I can't accept I can't accept money from you he said just pay it forward and I'm like man you, you just came all the way out of your way for someone you've never met put on your your scuba gear Bought, dove to the bottom of some nasty water, got my drone, came back up and refused to accept any money. And I was like, man, let me just give you some gas money. Let me do something. And he's like, no, man, I, I really, I want you to pay it forward. So the sum of this video, I, I'm trying not to make it too long, but I just wanted to thank all these people who have really just helped me so much. It was a blessing, man. It was a you know, that night I was just thinking of how, how lucky I am and how blessed to have so many friends that were just willing to help, whether that was make phone calls, let me borrow equipment, um, checking in on me throughout the day, uh, being willing to dive to the bottom of a river, lending me their kayak, um, and especially Mark Miller. So if anybody ever needs anything scuba diving related, water related, he does underwater photography. He has his own business and I told him I would help him out in any way that I could. Or make a video thanking him, um, but just I just want people to know that during this time, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of craziness and tension and um, hostility going on in our nation right now. And I just wanted to share some good news that um, I'm very thankful to all these people I've listed in this video. There were even other people who called and checked on me and stuff, but the people in this video really took time out of their Saturday for a random phone call for me to say, "Hey, I, I've I'm in trouble. I need help." Um, and I, I'm the type of person that I hate asking for help. I really do. Um, but I just wanted to thank these people so much, especially Blake, uh, Blake Kelly, Neil Gilly, Chris Wilkerson, my lovely wife, Katie, and Mark Miller, especially Mark Miller, man, who's just a, such a kind uh, and generous, generous man. He was just so polite and so encouraging and then just wouldn't accept any money. So, man, if, if you know Mark Miller um, or any of these guys, please just like, comment, share. The, the praise belongs to them. They were they were super helpful and getting my drone back and just and I'm just so blessed. I was just overflowing with joy and appreciation as I got my drone back. And the cool thing is, um, is that the memory card was completely intact. I recovered every photo and video off the memory card, which was a blessing because I was I was able to finish and complete some projects, especially for the city of Pascagoula. As far as my drone, uh, we submerged it in some salt away stuff and submerged it again in some water to wash all the salt off. And then we put it in a bunch of rice and I'm gonna let it sit for several days and hopefully I can reuse the drone. Uh, I just believe God as a provider and if this drone doesn't make it, then he'll provide a way for me to continue to do um, gigs and jobs on the side with my drone. Uh, I started a business about a year, just over a year ago, and um, you know my, my main focus was graphic design and video production, but over the past year, I've done a lot of drone work. And so I just wanna thank everybody who um, has just been so supportive. Uh, I really, really appreciate you. Jim Rowe, Jeremy Duckworth, Justin Ely, and Adam Santala, man, I appreciate you guys and everyone else who called and text. Um, so please, 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 take a second. Um, comment thank these guys like this post not to get 
views on the video, but just to thank these guys who went above and beyond, who are true friends. I mean, these guys uh, are true examples of what friends are that will come to your to your aid and come to help you. And I um, mean, they could have easily just been like, oh, this is Chris again and his bad luck getting in a bad situation. But I mean, I'm so blessed. I'm gonna be finishing the video for Pascagoula, the paddle run. Got some amazing footage, so I can't wait to share that. So thank you all so much uh, for supporting me and Stafford Studios. And I'm just excited to show you some stuff that's coming up in the future. So man, y'all have uh, a blessed week. Have a happy Monday and go out of your way to pay it forward. Um, I want to thank Mark Miller again just for being such an example of what, how God loves us and just doesn't expect anything in return. So here's my challenge, man. Find somebody that you know, friend, family member, and do something for them, but don't expect anything in return. So I'm going to be looking for ways to actively pay it forward. So thank you so much. Uh, we're in a new house. I'm in the process of uh, updating the studio. I've got a lot of really cool things I want to share with everybody soon, but I'm so thankful. Chris is signing out. Thank you all so much. Have a good one. See ya. See ya.